This is David Hoffmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 6, this is Section 12. A Question About Private Minds Hi David. I would like to know more about private minds because Jesus was one with the Father. But did he not have his own thoughts and feelings? Or are you saying that Jesus did not feel the thoughts of this world that he was walking in? If he did not have the thoughts of people in this world, how could he know that Peter was thinking when he said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Book of Matthew, chapter 16. Beloved one, the belief in private minds assigns the attributes of the body, separation to the mind, and thus the mind seems fragmented, isolated, and alone in distorted perception. The belief in private minds with private thoughts assumes that the mind can pull itself apart from the mind of God and be fragmented into separate pieces, each one different from the rest. The assumption is that individual minds have their own unique set of thoughts and also that each mind has the ability to make its own decisions. The Christ mind, however, reveals that divine mind is one, a unified whole which cannot be divided. What is one with God cannot be divided or become unlike the mind of God, which created it whole. The reality of one mind transcends the illusion of parts. For what could separate what God created one forever? Only the thought of God remains eternal. And this is why there can be no private thoughts. Jesus and the Holy Spirit are synonymous as symbols of awakened mind, which sees the error but knows it is unreal. That is why Jesus Christ knew that the thoughts of man were but temptations to believe that the impossible had happened. Jesus was an example of the purity and innocence that transcends the belief in private minds. For seeing no one as separate from God, Christ recognizes the self as whole. Get thee behind me, Satan. Book of Luke, chapter 4 is the declaration that what is created as one cannot become something else, giving no credibility to the something else. It is a statement that love and truth can have no opposition, since oneness knows nothing other than self in God. Jesus demonstrated the Christ mind, which entered not a body and shines Endlessly, endlessly in eternity. The mind of Christ simply is and in being can be remembered or recognized. The mind of Christ is beyond perception. Forgiveness or overlooking error is how perception gives way to the light of God. 
Error is the belief in private minds and thoughts. Yet forgiveness sees that mind is whole and that nothing exists in and of itself apart from the whole. Nothing is private in the light of divine love. This means that human thoughts and emotions and beliefs have no meaning, for they were based on nothing at all. Identity in God is all meaning, and the world dissolves away in God's holy presence.